Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see what is functional interface versus uh, marker interface. So first we will understand what is interface in Java. So in Java, a interface is a reference type that can contain only constant method signature, default method, static method, and nested types. So this functional interface can contain default method, static method, constant it will contain. There are some special kind of interfaces is available in Java that we call as a marker interface and functional interfaces. So first we will understand the functional interfaces and marker uh, interface. What is it? So marker interface is an empty interface without any fields or method used to signal the JVM or framework that an object of this class will have some special behavior. Means we define any marker interface that will tell the JVM that this class or object has some special behavior that, that we can achieve with the help of marker interface. And a functional interface introduced in Java 8 is an interface that can contain exactly one abstract method and is used as basis for lambda expression in functional programming. So functional interface contain only one abstract method and it is introduced in java 8 onwards so here for a few key points we need to remember uh, that i will share with uh, here uh, let's see this one first marker interface do not contain any method or fields and serve as a type to convey metadata about the class so once we define any class as a marker interface so that class has some special behavior and it tells the JVM that this is the so type of that a class for example if we use serialize so it will uh, tell the jvm that this class is a type of serialize then functional interface contain a single abstract method and can have multiple default or static method functional interface can contain only single abstract and multiple default or static method we are going to see one example for this as well so marker interface are used to indicate a signal or marker such as serialization in a java which tell the jvm that class can be serialized means the class of the marker interface will be serialized it uh, tells some it gives some metadata about the class to the jvm then functional interface are used to facilitate lambda expression for functional programming in java so this we are going to see one example how we can use this here if we see some differences uh, i have given uh, first we will understand here marker interface versus functional interface so definition here is uh, for marker interface is an interface with method or fields so it doesn't have any an interface with no methods or fields means it doesn't have any method and fields as compared to functional interface have interface with exactly one abstract method we can contain as well as some static and default method we can have in the functional interfaces so purpose for this marker interface serve as a marker or indicated for special treatment by the compiler or jvm if we see we can use serialize clonable so this will tell the jvm that this class is serializable or clonable then it's a uh, Functional interface supports lambda expression and method reference. So this is supported by functional interface supported by. So basically it is introduced in Java 8 onwards. So we, uh, to produce uh, use support to lambda expression, we can use functional interface. Then example here, if we see marker interface example is serializable. If you any time mention serializable in a class, so that class is not contain any methods or clonable is also don't contain any method. But as compared to this runnable, runnable we have run method, callable we have call method, comparator we have compare to methods. So these classes have exactly one abstract method, but this doesn't have any method. So that is the example of the functional and uh, runnable interfaces. So if we see marker interface not applicable for lambda expression, it is not applicable, cannot be implemented by lambda expression. But functional interface can be implemented using lambda expression. And you says if you see this is the use before Java 5 and adding metadata to the classes. And this functional interface is introduced in Java 8 onwards to support functional programming. So that is about uh, this few four big difference uh, about marker interface and functional interface. 
we are going to see one example here here if you see i have created one ma marker interface so this interface doesn't have any method uh, we can simply create interface my marker interface and functional interface if you see uh, below functional interface is created in this we have one method that is abstract method a by default abstract will be added to above this method by compiler and this method is execute and we can add default method so if we see default method does not count towards the single abstract method criteria then here my class implements my marker interface so we need to write uh, we need to implement marker interface then uh, my functional class implement my functional interface so this is implementing this my functional interface we need to annotate this with the at the rate functional interface annotations then we need to provide uh, implementation for that method which we have written execute so functional interface is method is executed then here if we see we are using lambda expression here my functional interfaces reference we are creating function and we are printing this lambda expression executed and we are calling that with the help of functions uh, reference and we are calling this execute method and this class will execute my functional class execute method let's run this example and we will see the output these are the some major differences between functional interfaces and uh, marker interface this is the one of the important interview question guys ask in interviews so be prepared with this so if you have all the details you can explain it clearly so here if you see this lambda expression is executed and functional interface method is executed that's all from this video guys i hope you have gained some knowledge from this video Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.